They're just about ready now, and they sprinting away. Cardinal didn't get the best of starts. Amadeus Rocks was out in a flash. Up there too, Captain Blackwater. Leah Doker shows pace, the white sleeves and cap. Firehorse right there, he shows his customary pace. They followed further back in the field by Buckinghamshire, who's three lanes off the leader. Then in behind these, Seventh Symphony, traveling together with Breathless Bertie. Over towards the far inside, Amadeus Rocks. Then the yellow sleeves and cap of Captain Blackwater, Dragon Lee. Out after these ones, Eternal Jet. Captain on the run. Cardinal's got some work to do, so too does SLK. They make their way to the final 400 meters. Leah Dokus, Firehorse towards the outside. Then further back to Cardinal who's trying to find a finish in the middle of the course under Gavin Larina. Dragon Lee out after these to Captain Blackwater but it's Cardinal who's come striding into the lead. Buckinghamshire Captain on the run are trying to make an impact but Cardinal wins. Second will go the way of Captain on the run. SLK finished strongly for third then came Buckinghamshire and uh, away they go in the boardwalk MR74. Towards the far side, Firth of Cloud, one of the first to show, but quickly Restless Road goes off to the head of affairs. Up there too is Reef of Fortune, the white sleeves and cap. In full regalia under Haley Turner towards the outsiders in touching distance. Rogue run up and alongside that lightning bolt, they are about two to three lengths off the leader. At their outsider, simply black in the red sleeves and cap. Samanga so Kamalo has National King in the mix as well. Pacquiano and Anthony Del Pesh, the blue sleeves and cap is about five lengths adrift. Then we go further back to Armorial, who's a further length away. At their outside, Romeo Bravo, and just too early, races out back. They get to the final 400 metres in full regalia, just ahead of Reef of Fortune, who's trying to stay with it. Pac Yano's trying to emerge. Then the black sleeves and cap, Rogue Runner up the middle of the course. Lightning Bolt, Firth of Cloud, they all next. It's Haley Turner, who has in full regalia in front, but Rogue Runner's right there. Reef of Fortune is throwing its weight around as well. Reef of Fortune, Rogue Runner, then comes in full regalia. The internationals dominate here. Reef of Fortune over Rogue Runner. Reef of Fortune won it. Rogue Runner was second. Third, I think, will go to in full regalia. Then came Armorial. Of them. And uh, away they go. Bit of an awkward start for Eternal Winter. She got squeezed and ultimate survival drops to the rear. One love, the first one to respond. Trezor's right up there and she's pushing forward to go and force a solid early gallop. Love Everlasting, deepest of alls in the early mix. High fashion, yellow sleeves and cap has been given the early run of the race. Then comes Isabel, the white headgear under Frankie de Tori. Wonder Worker is racing in midfield. Then we go further back to Red Hot Lady, the orange sleeves and cap, and they're stretching out a good dozen lengths in it. Queen Justine is next in line. Then we go further back to Eternal Winter, who's joined by Quebi Ango. A further length back to Ultimate Survival, who races towards the rear with Victoria. But Love Everlasting didn't have too much luck in the early stages, and Haley Turner has taken the six lengths clear. Trez is racing away in second, a further eight lengths away to high fashion. Then comes Wonder Worker, who's worked up into fourth, but it's about a dozen lengths off this clear leader. They followed further back by One Love, the red sleeves and cap. Isabella, that one's inside in the white blinkers. Further back then to Quebiango, out after these to Eternal Winter. Then came Victoria. They get to the last 400 meters, and the tank is now empty on Love Everlasting, and Trez went past. In beyond these, Queen Justine, the green sleeves and cap. High fashion is in the mix. Isabel's a runner. Down the inside is Red Hot Lady. But it's Trez under Aurelian Lemaitre who's trying to find more. Second place is High Fashion. Then comes Isabel. But Trez is keeping going. High Fashion is nearby and trying to close in. But Trez keeps on going. Trez has beaten High Fashion. Third got close. Up towards the inside it's One Love. And involved with that is Wonder Worker. Your spirit. Ready to race. Gates crash open. And they sent on their way. The slowest to begin was Red Barrel. The fastest to begin, True Master along the inside. Right up there, Master James, Crown of Gold. Outside of them, BN Zeno is aiming for the leaders. Welsh Emperor on the heels of the leaders is just two lengths off them. Then came Ready to Go right now. Jet Explorer, Blue Sleeves and Cap is racing just in behind midfield. Mr. Matchett, Pioneer Spirit, they are next. Red Barrels won from last and at the rear end of the field is King Vault as they took the first turn. They make their way towards the final 1,000 metres and Master James 
James is in front. Second place is Bian Zeno. In third position is Drill Sergeant. Outside of that one is Crown of Gold with True Master racing away in fifth. And Welsh Emperor's midfield about five lengths off the leader. Ready to go right now is at his outside, a length and a half away to Jet Explorer. Then came Mr. Matchett. The stick is out on Pioneer Spirit. Red Barrel continues to have one behind and King Vault is watching them all as they make their way to the last 600 metres. Master James continues to lead. BN Zeno in the orange sleeves and cap is still second. Welsh Emperor makes a dart down the inside rail alongside that is true master in the red sleeves and cap then we go back to mr matchett ready to go right now in crown of gold but the leader's true master welsh emperor is trying to get gathered up then towards the outside is ready to go right now mr matchett and master james is not done for either master james comes rattling back at the inside is true master though who has the advantage under muzi any it's into the closing stages, True Master and True Master wins. Second got close, maybe Jet Explorer or Master James. And at their inside was Mr. Matchett as South Africa tr well and truly seal leg one of the Air Mauritius International Jockeys Challenge.